OnePlus has finally launched its most updated smartphone, the OnePlus X. As we are listening lots of rumors about this device, so finally OnePlus ended all of this and presented its new device. So it feels pretty much premium in hand, so let's talk more about this device. There will be two versions of the device, one is Onyx and another one is Ceramic. The Ceramic version and the Onyx version will have same specification but the Ceramic will cost more than the Onyx because it it is used more premium stuff to make this device and yes this device is a limited edition device it will only available 10,000 all over the world and talk more about this device. On the top of the device you find 3.5 mm jack and when you come to the left side of the device you find a large slider to adjust your volumes according to your uses. On the right side of the device you will find three buttons which is a volume rocker up and down and there is a wake up button and, and on the bottom of the device you find USB port to just charge your device and connect with your PC according to your uses and dual speaker drills on the bottom panel to back side of the device where you'll find a 13 megapixel camera with a led flash and it feels a little bit of iphonic you will just uh, you can say remember iphone safe cameras and yes when you just come there is also a oneplus beautiful logo which suits there approximately and overall back of the this device feels pretty premium from our side and yes it costs a little bit more but yes you you will be surely feel some some type of premium sip in this device the device features 5 inches full hd 10 18 to 920 pixels amoled display and is powered by 2.3 gigahertz quad core qualcomm snapdragon 801 processor and it is clubbed with 3 gb of ram overall the display quality on this smartphone looks pretty crisp and clear and have a good viewing angle on this device it's on oxygen os based on android 5.1 lollipop out of the box Plus X comes with 16 GB of inbuilt storage expandable via micro SD card up to 128 GB. The smartphone features a hybrid dual SIM slot with second slot usable for micro SD card. It features a 13 megapixel rear camera. So let's check out the camera how it is performing. Yes, so we have captured this image and let's look how it is performing. Yes, the device. Uh, Yes, the image is pretty clear and crisp. We uh, This is not blurring at, you can say, high zoom and the clarity and color production of the images is pretty clear and crisp as you can see. And there is also 8 megapixel front camera. So let's check out the front camera, how it is performing. The front camera is also performing good. As you can see, there is no blurration and all with a zoom level. And yes, that looks good in this device. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video we have described about this device, you can subscribe to our channel. And yes, to motivate us, you, you have to give a thumbs up to this video. Thanks for watching again.